This tutorial is on Meme Generator. Okay, so you go to memegenerator.net. And um, I was able to walk through my first one in a matter of two minutes, probably at most. Uh, the, the, what takes the longest is the selecting process. So basically, you come to this website, and you don't have to create an account, but you can. It's painless, and it takes about 30 seconds. And that way, um, I'm assuming that you can save things. I just created an account. Um, and so what I can do is I can go ahead, and I'm going to click on Caption an Image. So it takes you right here to create a meme. Uh, which I have to say, I called it a mem in class, and I had people like ready to pee their pants. I, I literally didn't know that there was a difference that you were to call it a meme. So, so every time I say that now, I'm like, ugh. Anyway, so if I were, I could pick a picture, okay? I decide what I wanted to say. Listen to how, Okay. Oh, list. That was smart. Listen. Okay. So I could have it say nothing on the bottom. And that's all I wanted to say. So I hit generate. There you go. And that's all there is to it. So I've created a meme. Okay. If I want to share this image, I can. It also shows other ones that people have done with this same picture. Um, apparently people could comment on it and such, but I can print it out. I can use it for social media. Okay, so it's kind of funny. I'm curious to see where they allow me to share this image. Oh, wow. I don't even know what this monkey is for. Obviously, these are the most common Okay, I like that. Um, I knew there was an option to print here somewhere. So you could print it or go ahead and share it right away. So um, that is how you could create a meme. I think it'd be funny to have a, a room full of these when the kids come in. It'd be like, what the heck? So, but I think that they would really get a kick out of doing this for an assignment, especially at the beginning of the year. Okay, and that's the end of this tutorial. Thank you.